This is another video for making uh, 25 baht 6 cases from another caliber. Uh, in this case, we're going to go with 270. I happened to get these at a range they were given to me absolutely for free and figured they're a dollar a piece. Uh, 270 is 27 caliber to be more exact. And of course, 25 baht 6 is 25 caliber, so there's a little bit of difference in the throat there, uh, the case mouth size. Uh, we're going to be able to handle that uh, simply by taking the 270 case and resizing it in a 25 baht 6 full length size re, uh, sizing die. Uh, but before we begin that process, uh, or any time you're going to go from one caliber to the other, the best way to start out is to take the case in question, or cases, and to anneal them. And that's the next thing we're going to do. And if you haven't seen my video on annealing, that, that would be good. But I'm going to provide a little insert for it, and uh, no problem. So let's go and get the annealing done, and then we'll get into the step for actually making the 25-06 case. Good. That's as close as we need to get. Press dough and we're annealed, ready to go to the next step. One thing I'd like to point out for the uninitiated, if you're heating up a case with the idea of annealing it and you don't plunge it into cold water, you will not get annealing. Instead, what you'll get is hardening. So it's pretty difficult to go to some other case uh, length, size, or shape, or caliber, if you haven't annealed the case properly. And do look that up if you need to, because that's an important uh, concept to have before you uh, move on to the next step. So at this point, let's go ahead and do the resizing uh, using the full length resizing die for 25 watt 6 and we should have cases that would be ready to trim. Moving right along, I'm going to go ahead and get into the trim length here. I didn't show the uh, actual resizing this time because I think most of you know how to do that and uh, there's only three cases involved. Uh, going right to the trim length, this is an existing uh, like federal head stamp. And uh, the trim length should be uh, 2.48, I believe it is. This one's a little long at 2.49, so I'll probably go ahead and do that. But just so that you realize what we're talking about here, I don't want to skip this step because it's the important one. Now, this is way over. So we've got ourselves a new 25-06 case potentially, but it's 2.545, it looks like, if I'm reading that right. And um, <clears throat> there's one other thing about the case mouth. Uh, or the wall thickness of that case. Uh, I'm going to trim it first before checking it and just uh, with using a, a different caliber caliper I'm gonna I'm just gonna this is informal so subject to some change 12,000 7 inch on the federal as made case and this it's about half a thousandth more. Let's check another one, just for the sake of discussion. That's a little under. Okay, now I would say for absolute accuracy, the outside dimension should be turned. If you're a perfectionist and that's the way you prefer to do things, I understand. I seldom do that anymore. I'm not really shooting for competition or, or whatever, but it does make a difference. That's something to consider. So I'm going to go ahead and trim these, and I'd like to keep this video kind of short, and then i uh, going to clean the pockets and start getting ready to reload them along with the rest. But those steps you don't really need, and now you see the best way to travel when it comes to uh, picking a caliber that you can find. And, uh, you know, if you can find 270 and you can go straight to 25-06, boy, that, uh, that's pretty good. Saves you a dollar at least.